The grandpa of our country, in my estimation, is uh, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, and um, uh, Ben Franklin was probably the most famous American alive uh, in the decades before the uh, Revolutionary War. Uh, he had uh, sought his fortune uh, by uh, becoming apprentice as a printer with his older brother. Franklin was the youngest son of 17 children, uh, two mothers. The first uh, mother passed away, and he was from the, the second, uh, second wife. Uh, grew up in uh, Boston, uh, apprenticed to his brother, went to England early on in the printing trade, came back. He felt uh, more like a slave than a brother and decided to set out on his own. And he headed for uh, Quaker, Pennsylvania back then. Uh, Pennsylvania was kind of the way uh, we think of uh, California or something out west uh, in our day and age. Uh, the, the Quakers um, allowed other types of religions uh, in uh, their uh, uh, community, and um, uh, William Penn had, uh, had made that uh, uh, an important part of, uh, of being in um, uh, Pennsylvania, is that uh, people could believe what they, they wanted to. Uh, Franklin uh, uh, just wanted to become a successful printer, pretty much, and, um, and set up shop there early on. He started printing uh, little almanacs, um, which he called uh, Poor Richards, uh, Richard Saunders. Uh, this is one of those um, for 1756 that he published. It was kind of, uh, uh, had uh, some of his little uh, uh, statements in it, such as early to bed, early to rise makes a man uh, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Uh, a, penny a penny saved is a penny earned, and uh, things like that. Uh, in uh, 1758, he went to England representing the merchants uh, in uh, Philadelphia. And while he was there, he did a little genealogical work. He looked up some family because uh, his family was all from England. And he found a book that his grandfather, Benjamin, that he was named after, had, uh, uh, had uh, given inscribed to his uh, great aunt, uh, his sister, uh, their great aunt Jane. And because uh, the youngest two children of Franklin's family were Ben and his sister uh, Jane, um, he uh, decided to quote from the book. It had an acrostic. That's where you use the first letters of their name to stand for something. And uh, since uh, he and his uh, sister were divided by miles but very close uh, the rest of their lives, uh, Ben decided to uh, write down what he, what he found that his grandfather had written to their uh, great aunt Jane, whom Jane was, his sister was named after, and he says, for namesake's sake, as well as the good advice it contains, I'd like to quote from it. And uh, it turns out that Ben and his sister Jane had a little disagreement over which principle was the most important to govern your life, uh, faith, hope, and charity, and uh, out of the Bible. And uh, Jane felt that faith was far more important. Uh, ben felt that charity was, was more important. And so he used this little acrostic uh, in uh, their grandfather's uh, advice to their great aunt, uh, to, to help him. And he says, you're to understand then, in this handwritten letter uh, written from uh, England, you're to understand then that, uh, that our author likened uh, um, religion to a building. And thus, uh, the ground floor is faith. And uh, um, hope is up one, one set of stairs. He said, my dear beloved Jenny, don't delight so much to dwell in these lower rooms, but get yourself as quickly as possible into the garret, for in fact the best room in the house is charity. He says, I wish, uh, being fat, that uh, the house was turned upside down. It's so difficult to get upstairs. Um, but uh, he left a little advice for her, too. Uh, and um, he, in one of his little couplets, he said, A man of words and not of deeds is like a garden full of weeds. Isn't that true? But then he says, they, "'Tis a pity that these good works, uh, they try to reverse the words, and that a man of uh, deeds and not of words is like a garden full of blank." He says, I've forgotten the rhyme, but tis a, the opposite of a perfume. And his sister put a big X through that part of the letter and says, this part of the letter not to be read to anybody, it's still clever.